Hi, my name's J Dub. I'm a videographer, entertainer, and I love to eat. I'm not a classically trained chef, but believe me when I say. Peasant dishes have a way of bringing something special to somebody's mind when they think of them. They can be nostalgic because their grandparents or their parents made them. It gives them a feeling of home. And I think that's why I like to eat these types of dishes myself, because they remind me of home. Now, cabbage rolls have been made all over Europe, and maybe they use a little different ingredient here, a little different ingredient there, but they're basically the same thing. So I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite recipes. For this, we're going to use eight large cabbage leaves, three cloves of garlic, finely chopped, one pound of ground beef, one cup of cooked rice, one beaten egg, one teaspoon of onion flakes or onion powder, one tablespoon of mustard, and one teaspoon of salt. Now to start with, we're going to get our cabbage leaves. It's much easier to chop the end off of the cabbage and carefully dig into the end to take out the stump. Look for the edges of the cabbage leaves and see where they fold in. Then see how they're attached to the base. Cut the base and then carefully unfold each leaf. It will take practice, but you can get some good leaves if you're careful and patient. You have to be careful not to tear them too much. I say too much because you are going to tear your cabbage leaves. You just have to be a little careful not to do too much damage. Wash each leaf to get the dirt and gunk off and place them into a pot. Then fill the pot until the leaves are submerged and set it to boil. If you want to add a little bit of extra weight, just add a very small bowl to there and you can even add water to give it a little bit more heft to get it all submerged. You're going to want your cabbage to boil for about five minutes. You don't want to get your cabbage leaves soggy, just so that they're a little bit more pliable. Okay, now let's get to our filling. We're going to combine our meat, rice, eggs, onion powder, mustard, salt, and our chopped garlic into one bowl. And then the fun part, hand mixing. With clean hands, mix all the ingredients together. You're looking to squish them into a sort of meat ricey paste. And when that's done, your cabbage leaves should be ready. We're going to drain the cabbage leaves and let them cool, and then start putting our filling into each one. Now here's where you're probably going to have to use your own judgment. We're not making small rolls, but we're not making gigantic ones either. So if you come up to just about eight rolls or just a little under, don't worry about it. We're looking to fill them so they wrap kind of like this, so that they fold into a nice tight package and so that the leaves overlap. Now we're going to brown them in a skillet. Set your stove top to medium heat. We're going to add some butter and get it nice and hot. I would usually use oil, but I like the flavor of butter for this. But feel free to use olive oil if you want. Then, three or four at a time, we're going to place our rolls on the skillet and get them nice and brown on one side. Then we'll flip them and do the same to the other side. Then you're going to take them out, add a little bit more butter or oil, and repeat until you have them all done. Now this will add a nice crispy texture to your rolls and it'll give them a nice flavor too. When the last batch is done, add all the rest back to the skillet and add in water. About two cups should do it. Bring the water to a boil, cover them, and then lower the heat to a simmer. And we're going to allow them to simmer for 30 minutes. And really that's all there is. Served with a side dish of either potatoes or rice, it becomes a very filling meal. 
If you like, you can get a packet of brown sauce and add that to the top to give them a deeper, creamier flavor. Or a dollop of sour cream and some chopped green onions can be a nice topping too. You can use chicken or beef broth instead of the water when stewing your rolls, or even use tomato soup or stewed tomatoes. These different ingredients will give your rolls a different level of flavor, depending on what you like. This dish is a great healthy meal, and countries all over the world have their own version of this. Use uh, ground pork instead of ground beef. Heck, even add in some real onions, or maybe even some stewed tomatoes. There's lots of ways to make this and just enjoy it. Try and figure out which way you would like to add your own twist to this recipe.